I've mentored over 150 people breaking into AI and machine learning roles, and one of the most common questions I get is, should I get a certification? We're breaking this question down today. I'm Marina. I work in applied machine learning at Amazon, and I've been coaching people into AI and ML careers for years. I've seen firsthand what works and what's just a waste of time and money. The answer to whether certifications are worth it isn't yes or no. It depends on your specific situation. Today, we're breaking down when certs actually help, which ones employers actually recognize for AI and ML roles, what the independent research shows, and the decision framework I use with my mentees. Let's get into it. The first thing we need to get clear on is your career goal. If you want to do technical work as an AI or ML engineer, you have a very different path from someone who wants to become AI enabled in a non-technical role, like a product manager or marketer who needs to understand how to use AI in their job. The value of certifications is completely different for these two paths. This video primarily focuses on technical roles, so people trying to become AI or ML engineers. But I'll briefly cover AI-enabled non-technical roles as well, because the calculus is very different there. So for all my future AI and ML engineers, what does the research say about the value of certifications for your career? A 2025 study analyzed 2.5 million AI and ML job postings. Here's what they found. Certifications can boost your skill alignment with ML engineer job requirements. The biggest impact was for career changers. People coming from completely different backgrounds saw big increases in how well their profile matched target roles. Another study from the UK job market showed that degree requirements for AI jobs actually dropped 23% over three years. Now this study mixed technical and non-technical roles, but the trend is showing that skills first hiring is accelerating for technical positions. So that's another sign that certifications might be valuable. There's also also research from companies like Coursera. They report high employer interest in certificates, but of course, Coursera sells certificates, so we need to take that with a grain of salt. When you look at actual job postings, about 20% of ML engineer positions explicitly mention cloud certifications. A much higher percentage list them as nice to have. All that being said, a small qualitative study of hiring managers for data science and ML roles found that not a single one cited certifications as a primary hiring criterion. They said they only give certificates of passing glimpse. So what's the pattern here? For technical roles, certifications are viewed as positive signals of learning and initiative, especially for people without traditional backgrounds. But they're just one factor, not the main factor. And how important they are depends a lot on who you are and what roles you're targeting. In a minute, I'll walk through the specific cases where getting a certificate makes sense. But regardless of which path you take to skill development, one thing you're gonna need is strong time management. I know for me, I simply wouldn't be able to get everything done with my work nine to five, plus content creation and coaching without a really strong plan for how to get it all done. A tool I really love for this is AccuFlow. Here's what I do. I have AccuFlow connected to my content email, personal email, GitHub, and Notion. So when I'm working on a new video like this one, doing my own self-study, or helping mentees with their projects, all those tasks automatically flow into one universal inbox. Then I just drag them into my calendar to time block my week. The color coding lets me see at a glance when I'm doing deep technical work versus coaching calls versus content creation. The AI co-pilot has learned that I do my best thinking and writing early in the morning, so it automatically suggests those time slots for complex work. If you're someone who struggles to get things done, Optimizing your tasks for when you have energy makes a huge difference. Another useful feature for career changers is the stats feature. You can see exactly how much time you're spending on coursework versus portfolio projects versus applications. If you want to try it out, I've got a link in the description where you can get three months of premium access for free, plus a one-on-one -on -one onboarding call. If you're serious about breaking into AI or ML, whether through certifications or not, having a system to actually manage your learning time makes all the difference. So thank you to AccuFlow for sponsoring this video. All right, let's talk about when certificates actually make sense for your specific situation. So if certificates aren't obviously worth it for everyone, when are they worth it? Let's break it down. Based on patterns I've seen across 150 mentees, as well as the research, here's when certifications actually make sense for technical roles. Scenario one, you're early in your career with a limited portfolio. You've done some learning, but you don't have substantial projects yet. The certification provides a structured learning path for complex topics like RAG, fine tuning, or agent systems, whatever you're working on. It gives you a built-in project that you can extend. It signals initiative and that you have some drive and potential. But the key thing is that you still need to extend your project work beyond the certs requirements. Don't just do the minimum to pass and consider yourself done. Scenario two, you're a career changer from a non-technical background. If you're coming from a completely different field, the cert can act as somewhat of a credibility signal. It says this person at least has baseline competency. That research I mentioned earlier showed career changers could see strong skill alignment improvements with the right certification. It may help you get past the automated resume screeners a bit easier. Scenario three, you have an adjacent background and need specialization. Maybe you're a software engineer wanting to move into ML engineering. You have coding skills, but you need to demonstrate ML and AI capabilities. 
A cloud ML cert plus projects on that platform could create kind of a credible transition story. Scenario four, regional market considerations. In markets like India, research shows 97% of employers offer higher salaries for certificate holders. It's a more competitive, credential-focused hiring culture. European employers also value certificates more than those in the US. If you're applying in these markets, certs become much higher ROI. Finally, scenario five, company-specific tool alignment. Occasionally, you're targeting companies you know use specific platforms, like AWS, GCP, or Azure. A cert in that platform may be beneficial in this case. The key across all these scenarios is that the certification complements other qualifications. It fills a specific gap, but you have to be careful because it's actually possible to hurt your job prospects with certificates. Let's talk about that next. Besides wasting money, here are some other scenarios where prioritizing certificates can actually hold back your career. Scenario one, certificate collecting. I see this pattern all the time. People accumulate five, 10 infinite certificates with no corresponding project work. This is actually a red flag to me. It shows me you aren't comfortable making things on your own. I get the sense that you just wanna sit back and kind of passively learn versus taking the uncomfortable step to come up with projects and build real stuff. There's a quote from a hiring manager in the research we talked about earlier that sums this up. People spending thousands on certs, meanwhile, they can't solve real problems. And of course, you're hired to solve the company's problems, not just be smart. Scenario two, you already have strong projects. If your GitHub shows end-to-end -end ML systems, deployed models, and production quality code, additional certs add almost no value for you. I'd spend your time on networking or diving deep into specific areas you want to gain expertise in instead. Scenario three, using certs to procrastinate. This is a trap I see all the time. I'll just get one more cert and then I'll start applying or working on projects. If you have the foundational skills, building projects, applying to jobs, and getting interviews feedback will teach you way more than another course. And scenario four, generic or unknown certificates. One of the reasons certificates don't hold a ton of weight is that there's no standardization in the field or credentials for most of them. If you get some random cert from an unrecognized provider, hiring managers won't know what it means. If anything, they may even question why you wasted time on this certificate when there are better options available. Which brings us to the next question. If you're going to get a certificate, which ones are worth your time? All right, so let's say you've assessed your situation and you think a certificate actually makes sense for your career. Here are some of the best options in the AI and ML space. Tier one, cloud platform certifications. These have the highest recognition. You can think of things like the Google Professional ML Engineer, AWS Certified Machine Learning Specialty, or Microsoft Azure Data Scientist Associate or AI Engineer Associate. These are pretty rigorous and expect you to have significant professional experience before attempting them. They're proctored exams where you can actually fail. Trust me, I took the AWS Certified Machine Learning Specialty exam a few years ago and I was stressed preparing for it, which is good. That's why these certs are valued more highly. Let's look at one level down in difficulty now. Tier two would be professional certifications. In this level, we're looking at certificates without proctored exams for the most part, usually led by companies. Some specific options include the IBM AI Engineering Professional Certificate through Coursera, the TensorFlow Developer Certificate, or the NVIDIA Deep Learning Institute certificates. But what about certificates from universities? There are many certification programs from big name universities like Berkeley or Harvard. These are usually expensive and often more theoretical. They may also actually be taught by third parties, not actually anyone from the university. In general, I would avoid these. I just don't think they're worth the cost and the name recognition won't take you as far as you think. The only exception would be if you're working for a very traditional company where prestige matters more than actual skills. Now, if you're in a non-technical role and you want to use AI tools effectively in your job, the calculus is completely different. Certificates can actually be quite valuable here. For non-technical roles, employers want to see that you understand AI possibilities and limitations, you can communicate with technical teams, and you can use tools in practical ways. These certs will probably help you do that. In this case, you can take shorter, less intense courses that give you an overview of the field in plain language. Some strong options include AI for Everyone from DeepLearning.ai on Coursera, Google AI Essentials, or Microsoft Azure AI Fundamentals. For more senior roles, there's the PMI Certified Professional in Managing AI or the IBM AI Product Manager Professional Certificate on Coursera. And that about wraps up our overview. The TLDR is that certs are worth it for technical folks only if they're filling specific gaps in your resume. Some are better than others and which one you pick really depends on your goals. In any case, make sure to supplement with projects. If you're stuck on figuring out which projects to make, check out my comprehensive ML project framework video that's up next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.